Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about seat belts. And seat belts are still a requirement, says the Prime Minister, the Most Honorable Andrew Holness. So, as you know, um, on February 1, the new traffic laws took effect. And one of those laws was that any person under the age of 12 should be in a child seat, basically. Some child restraining, a child seat, basically. And this created a problem because taxi drivers, they don't have a, a child seat in their car. So the government looked at it and they came out and said they were going to amend the law so that the children under 12 no longer have to use a child seat. So persons were thinking, okay, a child does not need a seat belt. So the government has come out now and said, you still need to wear a seat belt. It's just that the children under 12 don't need the child seat. So we're going to go through an article that gives more information on this and then we'll discuss it after. Jamaicans are being reminded that seatbelts are still a requirement under the law and persons traveling in public passenger vehicles are advised to use them when available. Prime Minister the Most Honorable Andrew Holness said that while it may be impractical to enforce a seatbelt rule for children traveling in public transportation, I would like I would want to take the opportunity to urge passengers, if it is provided, if it is available, please use your seatbelts. In the event of a crash, it could save your life, he said. Mr. Holness noted that the move to amend the provision in the Road Traffic Act and regulations re regarding the use of child restraint systems could easily be misinterpreted as saying their seatbelts are no longer required. So I'm using this opportunity to say that seatbelts are required, particularly in your private vehicles, he said. The Prime Minister was addressing a meeting of the National Road Safety Council held at the Office of the Prime Minister recently. The government is amending the provision regarding the use of child restraint systems under the new road traffic laws. Speaking in Parliament recently, Minister of Transport and Mining, Honorable Audley Shaw, informed that a regulation is to be inserted making reference to the type of child restraint required for the conveyance of children based on age and size in different types of vehicles. All right, so that's the end of the article. Now, it's as simple as this. Seat belts save lives but well, so persons should use seat belts but what i find a bit strange is where it says jamaicans are being reminded that seat belts are still a requirement under the law and persons traveling in public passenger vehicles are advised to use them when available when available so it's a bit puzzling are you saying that some of these public passenger vehicles don't have seat belts but i guess buses don't okay i'm not sure because um i'm thinking of a car a car should uh, have like that white car that does okay no a car should have seat belts in the back they definitely have in the front and they should have in the back. So guys, let us know, give us some feedback on, on the seatbelt thing where they say when available. Because I remember hearing once that school buses don't have seatbelts and there were studies done about it. And it was said that, I think it was said that they don't need seatbelts. So I'm wondering, do buses do JUTC buses have seatbelts in them or the coaster buses? So guys, give us some feedback. Let us know what you think about this article and especially where it says 
when available. So I'm assuming that the cars should have them, but maybe the buses don't. So give us some feedback. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Have a good day.